Hey everyone. So today's video is an homeschool show and tell open collaboration playlist with the Waldock Way and Rooted in Rest. And so I will link all the details below on that. The theme for this month is morning basket. So I am sharing in this video the process of how I decide what goes in the morning basket, how I store the morning basket, and what is actually in the morning basket. So hopefully you find this video helpful. These are the two resources that I use for our morning basket. We call it our family morning meeting. I've shared this before in a previous video, but this is a printable that I created and it has the morning basket for, so it would be for the month. And then I have the topics of him, Bible, scripture, and poetry. And that's generally what we would start with. So I have a list of all of the hymns that we would like to do for the year. And if it doesn't go to plan, you know, it's okay, we roll with it. But, and I also wrote this in pencil so that at any point I can change it. The two resources that I use for hymns is the Then Sings My Soul book. I got it off of Thrift Books. It's a really great resource. It has a whole bunch of hymns in it, and then it tells you about the history of the person who wrote it and the hymn. It has the music so we can play along on the piano. The second resource that I use is Happy Hymnody. And let me see if I can. So that's in my in my morning meeting binder. The morning meeting binder has this post-it as a tab for hymns. She puts printables up on Instagram and for the ones that we're going to do this year, I just print them out and put them in a uh, page protector. I also will just keep all of the hymns that we've done from years prior because we also like to review one of the um, pieces to this is, you can see, we're reviewing one and we're learning a new one. And so I like to always go back to that. For scripture, it's the same where I've written out what it is that we think we're going to do as far as scripture for the year. And I've done the same for poetry, memory work as well. I also keep the scriptures printed out in page protectors in my binder under the Bible tab, as well as the poetry also. Whatever poems we're learning, I have them printed out under the poetry tab. And the same thing goes with review. I keep all of the poems we've ever learned, all of the scripture we've ever learned, and that way we can just go through the binder and review it as needed. For the first half of the year or so, we're gonna do Tales of the Kingdom, which is an allegory. And so that will be for our Bible time. So for the next section, we have drills, character building, liturgical year, culture, and geography. Drills is a wide variety of things that could, you know, that we could do. So one of the things is under the math section in the binder, we have our Matthew C drill. I also will use the test books. I don't, we don't do testing in our homeschool days other than our um, state requirement every couple of years. So we don't use these tests. I just will open this up and use these for the drill portion of the morning if we're doing our math loop. And then I also have a notebook inside of the binder that has different sections. So I've got grammar. I will often just have the kids, if I will say, what is a noun? They give me the definition. We did first language lessons, and so a lot of our definitions come from that. But I added the good and the beautiful um, definitions and terms. Then we also have a math section. This binder has been put together since the very beginning, so it's not the prettiest. But I have, you know, things like how many pints are in a quart. Then we have history drills, as we would need it. 
and I also have science drill. So we just do that on a looping schedule. I'll write down, you know, math, science, history, grammar, and we just loop through that. It's not by specific day, it's just whatever is the next thing on there. So character building is also tales of the kingdom. Sometimes we'll be reading Bible stories and then that's when Tales of the Kingdom would come in here. But for now, I'm using those synonymously. So probably what we'll do for this section is our critical thinking skills. I got this off of Thrift Book. We literally just open it up and sit down as a family and just take turns on doing the, the sections together. For liturgical year, I have a huge section on our bookshelves that I pull from depending on the monthly themes. And it's something, if you're interested in a video, just leave a comment down below. But for each different month, we have a general theme. And then I have books that I will pull out and put in the morning basket for that month. So mm -hmm. we have, you know, if we're looking at... Um, September, we have Labor Day, apples, first day of fall, October is pumpkins, November is bears, autumn leaves, Thanksgiving, this is the Christmas, December section. I've just put this little tab on top of it because there are a few movies that I have found in various places that I want to make sure that I keep track of in addition to these books. You know, January is hibernation and owls and February is snow and Valentine's Day and March is rainbows and St. Patrick's Day. Earth Day and Easter is in April. May is spring and Pentecost and Ascension Day. Culture and geography. When we're studying Asia, I would have Ping and Ricky Tiki Timbo that we could read for those. For Spanish, that is also a drill section where we would just have whatever we're learning um, body parts, color, we would review those. And Different than any workbook time that we would do for actual Spanish. This is just reviewing what we've learned already, you know, greetings and songs. And then we also like to do a little bit of sign language. And so I just use this book as a starter for us to get started on sign language. So on that bottom row, as I said, we have Spanish, grammar, artist study, and nature study. So for grammar, I have a lot. I love grammar. I have, there's a frog in my throat, and these are 440 animal sayings, similes, metaphor, idiom, proverbs, all related to animals. And so we're just moving through that. We just open it up and look at it together. That's a fun, fun way to do grammar. And then I just got this recently, and we're gonna just, this is gonna be our grammar spine they get grammar with their the good and the beautiful language arts program but i like to supplement that and so we'll just go through this book i have also created a grammar game and we're gonna uh, play that as well so the next section is artist study. I have just the Us Born Children's Book of Art and we just go through this as it ties in with the timeline of history. We also have this as well. So we go through this again as history connects. And then this year for the first time I am trying the Simply Charlotte Mason picture study portfolio and we are going to start with Michelangelo. We'll be in this time period pretty quickly. I actually found this used on eBay. So it was less expensive than on the Simply Charlotte Mason site. For nature study, this varies. Last year I read an Anthony Burgess book every week for that when we got, when we got to it. But I this year I got questions and answers about plastic and we're going to go ahead and start with this for nature study and in addition to questions and answers about plastic i found this at the dollar tree recently brain busters card game on nature over 150 trivia questions and so we will use this 
as well. So I have a few resources that I just leave in the basket. So 30 days has September. This has grammar, history, geography, science, math, just general knowledge, and even music. So this, some days I'll just pick this up and we'll go through a couple pages in that. I love this also for morning basket. This is actually one of my favorite things to do for car schooling, but I keep this in our morning basket just again as we're doing, if we come to math drills and we don't want to do the drills, I'll open this up and we will play a family math game. Julie Bogart just highlighted this on her Instagram as well. This is a new edition, the Book of Comparisons, which is a Kane Miller, which I got it at Usborn. I think it was a deal, you know, if you get a certain amount, they give you a rewards where you get a discount on a book. So it just, ha it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's Usborn. Just has comparisons in it. Of, and so we'll, again, just go through this as the Spirit leads us. So this is our morning meeting resources crate. You can see what I will do then is take this basket that I just have tucked at the back edge of the crate. I grab that. I grab whatever books that I need from the morning basket as well as the ones on the shelf that I might also need. Throw them in this basket, put this binder on top, and then take that out to the couch and we would do morning time meeting out on the couch. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or you got some tips or you enjoyed watching it, then please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Until next time.